Hi everyone, welcome to the very first video of our channel Med101 where we will try to learn the concepts of medicine in an interesting way. So just like me, if some of you viewers are interested in watching mythological and science fictional movies and anime shows, you might be knowing about this guy, this guy, and yeah, this guy too. The thing that is common between all these three characters is that, due to certain mutation in their genome, all these three characters acquired some powers which are comparable to the senses of animals, in other words, we can call these characters as human hybrids. So are these hybrids just creation of our human imagination or can these hybrids turn into reality? Let's check this out. This question came in my mind when one day, when I was on the browser, I came across this news of a man getting pig heart. This surgery was done in the University of Maryland School of Medicine where a guy named David Bennett was transplanted with a pig heart. This is relatively a new thing for my brain and it led my brain to a blast off. And because of this absurd surgery of a whole animal organ inside a human, I was left behind with two questions in my head and these were how did they manage to do it and why did they choose a piggy over a primate the reason is that killing of primates is considered inhumane in most of the cultures all across the world whereas pigs have been bred for centuries in large litters and they have been slaughtered for centuries and their Organs are anatomically similar to human organs. This technique of transplanting animal tissue into humans is known as xenotransplantation. Let this pig of ours be called Steve. Steve here, which is used for xenotransplantation, is not a normal pig. It's a super piggy. So Steve here is genetically modified to prevent what is known as transplantation rejection or graft rejection due to the immune system of humans. With the help of genetic engineering, about 10 genes of Steve have been genetically altered and the most important is Gal epitope which codes for alpha-1,3 galactosyl transferase which is mainly responsible for this rejection. This is not the end of the roadblocks. The next roadblock on this pathway is presence of perfs. These perfs are not the kind of goons who are staring at girls on the road but these perfs are basically viruses present or associated with the genome of pig known as porcine endogenous retroviruses. So it is necessary to keep a surveillance over these after transplantation. The next roadblock in the success of these transplantation surgeries is absence of competent regulating bodies and adequate guidelines. So still there is a lot of work to be done in perfecting this technique of transplantation and as in India in an year more than 5 lakh patients line up for transplantation. This could really be a groundbreaking technique in the field of medicine. Moreover a new technique is being developed where the connective tissue framework of an animal is used as a base for growing stem cells of humans to form human organs which can later be used for transplantation in humans. So in general there is a new hope in the field of medicine which could change the life of millions of people all around the globe. Thank you so much. This is all for today. Hey if you like the content presented in this video, give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends. And don't forget to share your feedbacks and ideas with us in the comment box down below. Support us by subscribing to the channel. See you next time.